we head toward the primary in Vermont in less than two weeks and general election in November. Vermonters with disabilities are speaking out on the barriers that make it harder for them to cast ballots. Local 44's Devin Bates has the details on an innovative project aimed at identifying these issues and the recommendations that came from it. Ten focus groups from across the state gathered over 120 Vermonters with disabilities along with their allies and caregivers. Now, Disability Rights Vermont partnered with the state in this effort, and it became clear that issues go far beyond accessibility at polling locations. In our um, focus groups, I think in every single one of them, we could say that transportation was brought up as an issue. The, the lack of access to um, reliable transportation, or even you know, in the more rural communities, uh, public transportation. Many people in our focus groups, at least, um, we're not aware that there's curbside voting available to them. Mary Postemsky is a senior investigator with Disability Rights Vermont and said Vermonters with disabilities face challenges at nearly every step of the voting process, including limited accessible parking and a lack of knowledge about the different ways in which Vermont allows voters to cast ballots. Some focus group participants said they don't vote because it's hard to get reliable information in a format that's accessible to them. And what we hear is, well, I don't have enough information about who to vote for. So, you know, so maybe I shouldn't vote, maybe I won't vote. Every general election, we publish a voter's guide. Um, we are intending to do that again, a voter's guide for people with disabilities. And that um, includes statements from all of the national and um, state elected offices. Although nationwide voter turnout increased in the 2018 midterm elections, the rate is much lower for people with disabilities. In Vermont, some progress has been made with a jump from 31.2 percent turnout in 2014 to roughly 45 percent in 2018. But the focus groups show there's still a lot to be done. Providing that information in a variety of different ways, um, a variety of different media uh, types, um, a big one is uh, providing, doing public service announcements on the radio, getting the information out there. But the, the second prong to that is getting the information in a way that is accessible to people. Vermont Secretary of State Jim Condos weighed in on these efforts, saying in part, quote, We'll continue to do everything we can to remove barriers to registration and voting for all Vermont voters, including those with disabilities, who face greater challenges to exercise their right to vote. In Burlington, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.